Hey Insiders, I'm Daniel Pickett here on AFI-TV and we are giving you a first look at some of the new DC Collectibles Batman animated figures. So these will be in stores this week. You can check them out at your local comic book shop or any of your fine online retailers. Uh, if you want, you can check out some of our sponsors as well. BigBadToyStore.com or EntertainmentEarth.com should also have these in stock. Uh, I got these early samples the other day at uh, Comic-Con and wanted to give you an early look so you know what is coming. So we will take a look. We have uh, two single carded from the Batman animated series and a two pack from the new Batman adventures. So these are numbers 23, 24, and 25. I can't believe we're that far into the line already, but it's so exciting as it, as it builds and grows and grows. Uh, we're going to take a look first. Well, let's zoom in in order and then I'll open them up. So we have Commissioner Gordon first. Uh, I really, really like this figure. We did get a Commissioner Gordon figure uh, that was from the new Batman Adventures from the Kenner slash Hasbro line back in the day, but he did not have his trench coat on. He was had the rolled up sleeves and sort of the casual Gordon. So getting the sort of thicker, older, uh, with the trench coat, which is, you know, that was a really iconic version of him, I felt like. Uh, I, I was very excited to, to get him in this line. Uh, he was sculpted by Irene Matar, which I think does a just a dynamite job on this line. She sculpted the lion's share of these uh, along with Gentle Giant. So this is one of hers. You can tell she does great, great translation from 2D, the 2D artwork to, to 3D. Uh, it says he's got 12 pieces in there. We know that includes a stand, some additional hands. He's got a pistol. He's got a megaphone, so we'll open him up in just a second. We'll set him off to the side. Then we have Raisha Ghoul. I'm going to pronounce it just like they did in the animated series, not Raza Ghoul, as they say on Arrow now. Uh, Raisha Ghoul, the demon's head. Another great figure. This is one, we got, a, we got two versions of him in the old Kenner slash Hasbro line. The first one was this armored up version that did not really appear anywhere in the show, but he did have the great demon's head mask. And then much later in the series, we did finally get uh, a similar version to, to this with the cape. Uh, again, he looks great. Also sculpted by Irene which is terrific. He's got the traditional head, you know, the, the angry head with the uh, two-tone hair, but then he also, that can pop off. And he's got a demon head, the, the, the head of the demon mask that also has a bit of a cowl over it. So it's not, this doesn't, I don't think that fits over the head. I think you actually pop the head off, it looks like, and stick this on. He has some additional hands in there, and they're not just hands because it's, you can probably see here he's got his sleeves rolled up, so it's hands and forearms in there. It says there's 13 pieces in here total. Again, we'll have a stand with the turnaround. We'll crack him open and look at him in a moment. Oh, but then, come on now, this is terrific. Etrigan the Demon and Clarion the Witch Boy. Now, we did get uh, an Etrigan in the Justice League line that Mattel did. Uh, very short, very stocky, you know, a big thick figure. But this, this is heavy, which is great. Uh, this is 22 pieces total, so we know there's two stands. Uh, Clarion has his cat. When did you think you would ever get Clarion the Witch Boy as a figure? Only DC Collectibles putting these in the direct market can do that. They can really go deep into the roster and give us great figures like that. He is at his twisted evil weirdo best here in, uh, in his figure. So uh, we will crack all of these open in just a minute and have a closer look at all of these figures. I just don't want to see, have you watch me open figures because that's really boring. So now, the magic of editing. Okay, so I freed them from their card now, so we're gonna look at them in numerical order. So since Gordon is 23, we'll start with him. Uh, we'll, we'll take him out. He's got a few twist ties, as normal. Stands well, he's got, you know, nice big solid feet. He's got articulation 
at the shoulders, that great articulation where you can see the jacket does not impede the way they have done it, which is terrific. He's got nice elbow articulation. The wrists do pivot back and forth. They do as well as a swivel. You know, nice head ball joint. He does have a waist. I really like the, the sculpt of it gives him the kind of paunch so his shirt comes down over the belt. That's a nice detail that's in the animation, but it was nice that they were able to solve that in three dimensions too. He has those standard hips that we've seen that swing out as well as back and forth. He still has knees and the feet swivel a bit. They don't go up and down too terribly much. In the main blister, we have got his pistol. As we know, he used that a lot. And one of his other main accessories that he was always using, a bullhorn. So pistol and bullhorn. Like all the figures, he does come with a stand that has the turnaround from the animation that the animators use and it still looks like uh, animation paper here with the punch holes in the bottom and the stand of course has the stick and it's got the the double claw you know some of them have a, a single some are double he's got the double and then he has an additional four hands these are the gripping hands that you would use for the gun and the uh, a bullhorn. Well, I guess actually this would be a better for the gun because it has the trigger finger extended. So he's got a gripping hand for both hands for the gun and for the bullhorn. So that is Commissioner Gordon and I love that figure and I love that we have him. Uh, so this shows the the wave that we have right now that is coming out today which is Gordon, Zatanna, uh, Rasha Ghoul and then the Demon and Clarion there, which is great. And then again, they include the great cross cell insert that also has Clayface, who's coming up, Firefly, Anti Fire Suit Batman, and the other version of Harley Quinn. That is great. So that's what we have for Gordon. We'll scoot him and all his goodies to the side here. And next we will look at Raish Agul, right here. He seems sort of stiff at first because he's got this big cloak and he's got this little insert that you can take out that just helps the cloak form. Inside his bubble, he's got the swappable demon head. So as you can see, the cloak is, is sort of hard plastic, but you can Pop the head off, slide it off, pop the head right back on, and you've got a nice figure with the swivel, again with the shoulders. And I love the articulation they do on the shoulders. It really does, uh, they really did solve some interesting problems in, in translating it from 2D to 3D. Uh, so whoever came up with that, probably Irene, possibly, way to go. Elbow, this is a swivel here because as we know, these forearms pop off so that you can swap them out. Pop him back in. He does have waist articulation, the standard hips that they have, knees. He does swivel at the boot cuff and then his feet. And he stands. He again has nice solid feet. They've kind of solved that problem. So. Uh, the turnarounds for his stand right here. He's got the double claw stand as well. His different forearms and hands. So there's six total. He has no wrist articulation because it, again, it, it swivels there. He's got sort of grabby hands and open hands for gesturing as well as fists. So we'll pop the head back off, stick the big cloak on again, and then we will put on the alternate demon's head mask. That's very creepy and intimidating. And that is surprisingly sharp, those little ears. So be careful and don't hurt yourself. 
Uh, and actually, it's a great sculpt. If you can see under here, you can see they actually painted the chin. You can see his neck and his chin under there. So it really does look like a separate piece, the cloak and then the mask. So again, that's great attention to detail on their part. So we have the extra hands, the great head. Stand these guys over here, and then we shall move on to the two-pack. Now, I don't have Zatanna here. I will be getting her shortly from my local comic book shop, but uh, I wanted to give you guys a first look at these guys. This is a big set. I mean, this is really heavy. There's a lot of bulk to the demon here. So we'll start with Clarion. Popping him out. There we go. Evil little witch boy, and of course we need his familiar treacle. Also incredibly articulated. Oh, look how angry that kitty is. Uh, and his main accessory is from the episode, uh, The Demon Within is the episode these guys are from, and that is the ancient branding iron that he was bidding on uh, against Bruce Wayne. He lost, but he stole it anyway and was able to control the demon. So Clarion has got really nice neck articulation. Again, the good shoulders, the wide range of motion, elbows that swivel and pivot. His wrists swivel. Looks like he also has an additional two pairs of hands to go with these. He does turn at the waist, even underneath that coat. The legs will spread. He's got those the same sort of hips. Then his knees, and he pivots uh, right below the boot cuff. Our little pal Treacle here. Stand up there, Clarion. Uh, neck articulation, all four legs. And a little bit of pivot to the tail, too. So that's pretty crazy for something that small. Something not small is Etrigan. Holy smokes. This is easily two to three times the size of the JLU one we got from Mattel. This is a lot of figure. Let's see here. He's probably going to need kind of a wider stance to, to stand up. There we go. There he is. He's also got some very pointy bits on him because he's a demon. Uh, his ears are pretty sharp. He's got some nice pivot to his head. Big arms, elbows, wrists also do the pivot up and down. Waist, he's got a nice ab crunch because you know he kind of hunched down a lot. So we've got that, the hips, the knees. He's got, he does not pivot at the boots, but he does have the ankle articulation. So he is big and beefy. And his other hand, still stuck in the package. I didn't even notice that. It popped out, so there he is. He's got fists. Let's see, we'll look in the, the lower tray here. So for Etrigan, he's got some big open hands, as well as some more sort of closed grippy hands. You can see those there and then the fists that he comes in package with. He doesn't, he's so big, he does not have a turnaround. He's just got a single shot on the stand. And then he's got kind of an unusual stand that's just the pin and the claw itself. It doesn't have any sort of back and forth movement to it. Clarion. Also does not have a turnaround, but he's got sort of a shaded version. There's a, a regular and a shaded version on his stand. And then he has, like I mentioned earlier, some additional hands. They are very tiny, as you can see, but they have the cuffs from his shirt on them. There's those. And then there's more sort of some clawy gestury hands. So that is an impressive lineup especially when you add in Zatanna. Some very beefy figures, but much needed in the collection. They're a, a, a great addition 
to your existing shelf. Again, we have these guys from Batman the Animated Series, and then the others we have are from the new Batman Adventures. So that has been your first look at these guys from DC Collectibles. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for DC Collectibles for providing these. Keep watching. We'll have lots more toy goodness here on AFI-TV.